All right, Juan Castillo here with my man Schwa from Schwa Ventures, of course. How you doing, my brother, today? I'm blessed, brother. I'm blessed. Absolutely. This is our third uh, episode of Schwa's Ventures, and today we're going to take you to Santo Domingo, uh, DR. And uh, uh, you you actually went there uh, quite a few times. That's one of your one of your favorite spots, right? Yeah, man. Oh, man, I've been to all uh, parts of DR, but. Got to go to the capital. That's where the heart is at. That's where the majority of the people migrate to. Right, 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 right. So uh, here we go. We're gonna get started with uh, with this. With, oh man, this. Where where did you take this picture at, my brother? And that's right in the area where I stayed, right in the center of town, the Colonial, right there. It's a nice little club type situation, bar, restaurant. Okay. Uh, wow, this is beautiful, man. Tell us, tell us about this particular part. Yeah, that's the street I stay on. It's the Colonial um, Street. It's, it's a walkway. No cars go through there. It's a walkway for about three fourths of a mile. Um, I stay at this nice hotel called the Savoy Boutique Hotel. It's probably halfway down, about half a mile down. And what about this spot right here? I mean, wow. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I love that yellow you got on there, brother. <laughs> yeah, brother. I'm, I'm, I'm brightening. I'm shining up the place. Um, that's um, that's the place right there, actually, where a lot of prestige people get buried at, like the um, the funeral for um, military and stuff like that. That's where they they um bury at right there. Oh, okay, all right. Tell me about this spot. And that's that's the same spot, actually, around the corner. Around there, they have sometime on the weekends they have um. They have like different like like people selling stuff like a little marketplace selling stuff like the locals and stuff. Very nice, man. That's, that's great. That's awesome. And wow, this is this is fantastic here, man. Tell us about this spot. That's the um the club slash bar restaurant from um the first picture. It's very nice. Is 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 got these huge pictures on the wall and um it's beautiful in here. I never been, actually I never been to Miami, to so South Beach. Really, find me or something like that. Oh yeah, you got to get to South Beach, man. We need we need to do a Schwab Ventures in South Beach, brother. Hey, we're looking for everything, baby. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. So here we go with this other. Oh, this is a beautiful, beautiful picture here, man. Uh, like now, now where are you at at this spot? I'm actually right next to the place I was at. It's a couple of businesses down, so I go there and have dinner and stuff. It's a nice, nice ambiance. It's very classy. Um. Like I say again, I've never been to South Beach, but that that area puts me in mind of it, the vibrations of it. Now we got this video here coming up, so uh, you guys can uh, check this out for yourselves. Walking up the Colonial Boulevard, where all the energy is out, and everyone is having a good time out here. It's nothing but energy here in Santo Domingo, the capital of Dominican Republic. You got people out here eating. You got the church. You got the people over here playing dominoes behind me. Very beautiful day out here. Over here, from what I hear, is one of the oldest Catholic churches in the world, if not the oldest, that's still in existence. Uh, very historical site. Every time I come here, I make it much to come by here and check it out. It's beautiful with the um, original landscape of how they put this stuff together. We got someone up there who thinks they're taking for Columbus or somebody. We got the music over here. This is behind me. They're everywhere. Beautiful. They're in Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic. Hotel right here, the Conde. That's where I say that when I came here last time. It was a Hard Rock over here, that's no longer. Right over here, 
got the horse and carriage ride, which I did numerous times. Hola! But this is the hotel I stayed at the first time I came. Very historical, right in the heart of the city, beautiful, right here in front of the church. We have traffic, it's Sunday evening here. People are out, enjoying themselves. Here in Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic, I suggest you come here. Adios. Yeah, man, beautiful spot, my brother. Uh, so tell me, uh, in this particular area, a lot of restaurants and, and clubs, and I mean, this this was in the downtown area of Santo Domingo, where you were walking? Yes, that's um, right in the heart of the city. It's right in the Colonia Zona. It's right in the center of town. You have the church, like I mentioned. The church is the Cathedral Basilica, Cathedral of Santa Marie Mianor. That particular hotel is the oldest hotel in the world. Catholic Church. It, it was built back in 1514, and it took 27 years to get finished. It was done in 1541. Wow. Very, very nice. Amazing. Amazing. So moving on here, uh, beautiful spot, man. Is, is this some kind of government building here, or what is this? Yes, yes. That's um, where the government um, do their thing, do they thing stuff at... Um, Right there, like I say, that particular day was closed off for tourists. So I just took a took a little picture just out of respect and stuff, and they let me do it. It was all good. That's cool. That's real cool. Tell me about this one, man. I mean, I I mean this. I mean the, the photography on this one was off the hook, brother. You got the sun shining coming down. It's just the middle of the afternoon. It looked like it just rained too. By the way, yep, yep it rained, man. It was it was it was cool. Um, I like the picture because it was just I'm walking around town absorbing it and um it was just some kids being kids man it was beautiful just to see them having fun out there playing and just enjoying themselves it was beautiful kind of took me back a few decades ago there you go so so you got your own barber over there man <laughs> my man lewis man lewis uh when i go to santo domingo i just i usually groom myself but when i go there i gotta give back to the community my man hooked me up and Keep me looking a little razor sharp. There you go. There you go. So the food. Tell me. Tell me what. What kind of. What kind of food is this, man? This is, looks like a soup. Tell us about this. Um, sanchocha. That's a uh, man. It's a, it's a very warm soup. I got it from a nice mom and pops restaurant. Um, it's warm. It's hearty. Sticks to your ribs, man. And comfort food. A little. A little. Is this chest they're playing out here? Actually, play it. They play it. Um, 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 domino. Your chest, your chest on that one. Chest on that one. Right. They, they usually play dominoes, but they you see them on the corner where you see a gathering of people. Usually, they play in chess or dominoes. Yeah, and, man. Yeah, dominoes is my game, brother. Oh, yeah. <laughs> man, they. I, I used to. I used to play back in the day. I haven't played in a minute, but I used to be pretty sharp with it. Yeah. Well, I gotta get. I gotta get you down, brother. Gotta get you down with the fellas. <laughs> Do, baby. There you go. Ah, uh, you got you got MJ over here, man. Tell me about this picture, brother. And that's a Dominican MJ, man. This guy, every time, same guy. He be on the on the co colonial, and he have the Michael Jackson music playing. He do his impersonations. He's really really good. Wow. Um, and he stay there, and he be stiff, and then he just go into his moves. And you know what I'm saying you got to give him a tip, man, because he, he's really good at what he do, man. They have a passion for it. That's awesome. That's awesome. Tell me about this one. Yeah, it's just a um, little restaurant. I go have lunch at, at on occasions. Um, the gentleman right there, he's always there. I can't remember his name offhand, but he's a very nice, easygoing guy, man. But he's he's in the same spot, been it for years. <laughs> so what is what is are these breadsticks right here that I'm looking at? What is this? Those are actually um um cigars. Oh, they cigars. Okay, cigars. all right. Different types of cigars. They um. They, they take me to the factory where they make them, and you can you can pick them out right. They can make them for you fresh right there. Oh, okay, all right for the cigar lovers, man. You got you got a spot to go to. Yes, there sir. you go. Oh, uh, nice spot, man. Tell me about this spot, man. This is over. Um, I did a photo shoot that day. I was over by um Christopher Columbus House, and then over there, man, 
usually the birds and stuff, they, they cater to that area, just like the church. And it was just a nice little art. So I said, let me capture the moment. Right, right. Well, uh, we got another video here. So uh, watch and enjoy. Strolling down the Colonial in the capital of Santo Domingo. Astra Vesta, Dominican Republic. A nice restaurant here, very island type food. Over here, you can see you have the beach life. You come outside and eat outside. Look at that, that is priceless. Like little Chinatown, a big Chinatown, it's very nice out here. You got the shops, you got everything you want. You got foods, you got everything. Little cloudy day, little drizzles, as you can see. Endless shopping. Man, that's great, brother. So tell me, uh, tell me about that waterfall, man. How did you find that? Man, I took a day trip um, with the gentleman, and um, he drove me around. I went to this town called Los Terrenes, and then I went to Samana. And I um, went there and spent the day, had lunch, and he showed me around. It's about maybe two hours, a little over two hours from Santo Domingo. So when I say I wanted to see a waterfall, and he took me to it, it was a hike getting to it, man. I had to go down a steep hill. That wasn't a problem, was coming back up. So, yeah. <laughs> That's, real That's real cool. That's real cool. That's real cool. All right, man, we got some more photos uh, from your trip. Oh, man, my brother, you styling right here, man, doing your thing, man. <laughs> I'm trying, man. That's my um, over by Christopher Columbus house as well. Okay. Good shot. Beautiful shot. Appreciate it. Here we go, man. Another shot, man. Yeah, walking through the town, man. I, I seen the um, flowers. Actually, I met this gentleman. I was looking for a photographer out there, and I met this gentleman named Tito. And he just, uh, he said he could take the pictures for me, and he's not a photographer. And I paid him every day. He, he, he took care of me. 
There you go. You getting ready to go do your thing. <laughs> yeah, my twin brother. We was about, about to get sharp and go do the thing, my brother. Yeah, I love that hat, man. Love that hat you got on there, brother. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah, Another so, nice spot, man. Wow. Columbus, man. A lot of a lot of history there. Lots of history, man. It, I know people go to different parts, Punta Cana, which I love. Uh Sasua, Cabarete, Puerto Plata. Um, Boca Chica, etc. But the capital, you got to make a trip there, man. It's a lot of history, lots of history there, man. Right. This that's this is this is your hotel. I mean, I see Malcolm in the back, brother. Oh, that's, man, that's, that's, that's awesome, awesome, man. You know, I, I caught my attention. That's the hotel I stayed at. It's called Savoy Hotel Boutique. It's a very intimate hotel. Beautiful, beautiful hotel. But it's modern, mixed in with like old history. Then, like I said, you got Malcolm. They had. Pictures yeah. of Samuel Jackson, et cetera, man. It was beautiful. That's cool. Nice. This is beautiful, man. Yeah, it's over by Christopher Columbus House there, man. Um, the, you could the, the, the rocks and stuff, the way you could see the history of the way they put in the work they made these buildings and the landscape is beautiful. Yeah, same, same spot over there, yeah. man. Yeah. My man Tito, um, he hooked me up, man. He took some pretty good pictures, man. Yeah, he did. <laughs> oh, man. You did it up on this one, brother. Yeah, man. I was kicking down the door, man. I was doing the buck the rhyme. Or, <laughs> I had to arrive. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I was off the hook right there, brother. That's off the hook. Yes, sir. And I was in the church just paying my respects, man. And Okay. Yeah, just going to church, man, to finish it off to pay my respects, man. And Thinking, thinking the man upstairs for another day and to be able to enjoy this journey called life. Absolutely, man. So uh you've been you've been to a DR quite a few times, man. So so what would you recommend uh if someone has never been there their first trip? Where should, you know, which city should they go? Um the first trip I would recommend, I would say Punta Cana. That's okay. the that's the safety trip. It's usually all inclusives, nice resorts, you get a few restaurants, um, got everything you need there entertainment bars restaurant food massage shopping so punta cana would be the easy break-in whether you go solo or if you go with your spouse or your significant other that's great man that's great but brother listen man you definitely took us on a trip this time again you know looking forward to the next one man you know but uh you know appreciate you brother bringing bringing these these countries, man, to us and from your perspective, man, definitely, definitely doing your thing, man, on the fashion tip too, brother. <laughs> you know, man, I'm, so proud, I'm getting some tips over here every time we do these, brother. You know, <laughs> yourself, brother, you stay shot with those fedoras, man. <laughs> <laughs> people with fedoras you be doing, man. <laughs> Trying to do my thing, brother. Mm -hmm. Okay, man. So listen, Schwab's Ventures, man. Uh, so make sure you check out the next one. You never know when the world is going to pop in on you. True story.